A new report suggests that CM Punk's AEW return is targeted for June and that he wants to work with the Elite. Additionally, Kenny Omega is still working under previous AEW contract and has not signed a new deal, plus lots more. Plans are reportedly in place for CM Punk to return to AEW this summer. Hey everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest and let's get to today's headlines. Fightful Select is reporting that CM Punk is expected back in time for the recently announced June 21st Dynamite from Chicago, either returning on the show or leading up to it. However, Fightful noted that nothing is set in stone and things can change as this is an opt-in tumultuous situation. CM Punk is said to want to work with the Elite upon his return and has pushed for a meeting with them for quite a while. It's unclear if the two sides have had any contact, but there is a meeting planned with CM Punk and Chris Jericho, who have also had various conflicts with one another. According to the report, there is traction inside Warner Brothers Discovery regarding a potential new Saturday AEW show and it leading to a soft brand split for the roster. This could involve talent who do not want to work with each other being split up onto different shows. And Kenny Omega has not signed a new deal with AEW. Speculation regarding his contractual status began recently after Conan told Nick Houseman he is assuming Kenny Omega resigned with the company. However, our own Dave Meltzer noted on Wrestling Observer Radio that that is not the case. Saying, quote, Conan did an interview and it got people thinking that Kenny Omega had signed a new contract and Kenny Omega's under contract to AEW. His contract was extended because he was out for, I think, nine months due to injuries. So I believe that he is under contract until around November or December, and that's the situation, but there is no new deal that has been signed. Omega's contract was set to expire in January before time was tacked onto it. Meltzer reported in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter last month that AEW is hoping to lock up Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks to long-term deals. However, Kenny Omega told CBC News that he hasn't had an epiphany regarding what he will do or where he will sign next. And speaking of contracts, FTR has revealed the length of their new AEW deals. During Wednesday's Rampage tapings, Cash Wheeler announced to the crowd that they had signed a new four-year deal with the company. The duo said that after the four-year deal was up, that they would retire. Dax Harwood on his podcast this week confirmed that he and Cash Wheeler re-signed with the company, citing the relationship between them and Tony Khan as one of the reasons why the two decided to stay. Harwood also said that the best course of action for he Cash Wheeler and his family was to remain in AEW. That's it for today's episode of The Latest. As always, I hope you truly enjoyed it. Please let me know your thoughts on any or all of these stories in the comments section below. And do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. To catch our previous episode of The Latest, feel free to click on the screen.